Hi guys, once again this is Frank Ilo from Afri Design Studios. In today's lesson we shall be learning how to use the massing tool to how to use the massing tool to create your concrete fascia in Revit. How do you use the massing tool to create the concrete fascia? That is what we will be looking at in this lesson. To do that, we actually have to go to the roof level the roof level never mind this extra level a time is coming when we are going to use this extra level this extra level is actually for the wall that is going to, to to protect our tank the tank that is going to be on top of this building but for the components the concrete fissure we are going to go to 06 roof level double click on it now you can see that this place is blank on your drawing area it is very blank meaning that the level that is beneath is not in view from the underlay. So we have to go to the underlay. Go to your properties, look for underlay. Then here is underlay, you can see it is right, it, it, it has written none, meaning that there is nothing here. So you have to bring out the level you want to use as a guide. So I click on that place, then click on this arrow, then I want to use my I want to use my pin 1 as my guide, so I click on my pin 1, so you can see it, it has appeared now. When this has appeared, I have to go to my components, click on the arrow, click on model in place, click on OK, click on OK again, then this time around, uh, this time around I go to sweep, after clicking on sweep, I go to sketch parts, I click on sketch parts, then I will start from somewhere around here, I click here, and go like this and go like this and go like this and go this way and this way and this way and this way and like this again and like this and like this and I will terminate it somewhere here so it will be in alignment with this but I'm not going to cross it I'm not going to connect I'm not going to connect, so I have to stop here. I press escape. Let it stop here. It is going to go like this and go around and stop here because there's going to be a wall, a gable wall, that will also protect the tank that will be here. So having done this, I click on finish edit mode. When I click on that, I click on edit profile. After edit profile, I select my east elevation as my station point. I click open view. Then I stand on my east elevation to edit this. I click on this red dot and move up. Type 450 and press enter. I go like this. 450, enter. I come down. 50, I press enter. I go to my left. 50, I press enter. I come down. 50 and enter. And I stop there. I, by pressing escape just once I come down here and click I move to my right I type 50 I press enter I go up I type 50 I press enter then I come to my right again 50 and I press enter then I have to connect this but I don't want this to be a straight line I'm going to use an arc to connect this I'm going to use an arc, so I have to go here, under my draw panel, I select the first arc there, start and reduce arc, I click on it, then I connect it here, then I push it inward until I have 300 millimeters as my radius, and I click, then here I have to offset 225 as the beam, the, the, what is it called, the roof beam, so I go to offset, click on offset, I click inside here and type 225, 225, and I offset this. Then I use the trim, trim to corner and trim this together. I also offset the height of the beam to be 225 as well. I delete this one that is down. I delete this one. Then I use trim to corner to trim this and trim this. Then I go to arc. Form. click here and click here and put bring it here then I make an arc you can see dotted line 
blue dotted line in circle form going round. That means that the arc is perfect. It's a perfect arc. So I click. If you don't see that, do not click. Except you want it to be in that shape. So I click on this and delete this. Click on this and delete this. Then this is the shape of my concrete fissure. If you look at this shape now, like this, the place that is square in shape represents the roof beam. But this other side represents the concrete fissure itself. Like most of, most of us who are practical, who have been going to sites, who have been supervising jobs, knows that the beam, the roof beam and the concrete fissure are not done separately. They are joined together. Even when you are iron bender or what they call the fitter, the fitter man is doing the work, he does them, he incorporates them as one. So that is what I've only done here. So having done this now, I go to finish edit mode and click. I click on it again. Then I come here and select the material, which is the gypsum wall board. In other words, the POP. I click on it before I now click OK. Then I come to finish model and click. So this is how to do your concrete fissure. So if you look at it from the three, default 3D view, three, default 3D view, this is all you're going to have. This is my concrete fissure. So you can see from this, you can see the roof beam, you can see the concrete fissure itself. So this is how it goes. Concerning the, what is it called again? Concerning your concrete fascia concerning your concrete fascia so in our next class we shall be looking at how to actually put roof how to put a roof on your building how to put a roof on your building how do you do that that is what we are going to learn in our next class thank you for watching and do not fail to subscribe to afi design studios in youtube thank you so much